So the Butterfly Way Station was just a simple idea about a little garden outside of the library that one of our political science graduate students approached me with. They had been looking at it as this tiny little garden outside of the library. Ultimately, we wrote a grant to try and make it larger. We didn't get that grant, but then the physical plant got on board and wanted to convert some of our beds to butterfly gardens. And ultimately, over two years, we ended up getting a colossal way station, double certified, and now we have over 16,000 square feet certified as a Monarch Way Station on our Gulf Park campus. The butterfly trail they run through here when they're going from the north to the south in Mexico. In, they also come back through Mexico up through the Gulf Park. And we're in a unique location because they stop here because Mississippi has natural milkweed and that is where the monarch butterfly lay their eggs and then the baby caterpillars live and mature. And so we're in a very unique position here on our campus to facilitate that migration back and forth. These way stations are important because the monarch butterfly is very endangered as a species. Thousands and thousands die when they do this migration. We actually have one major way station. Even though there's numerous beds around the 52 acres, we have one colossal way station. So in order to get all of the way stations combined into a colossal way station, you have to measure all of the square feet. So each bed when our architect measured it, came up to about 16,000 square feet. So it's really one colossal, meaning, you know, just 16,000 square feet plus way station. But if you look around the campus, you'll see all of the natural milkweed and the different flowers. And on um, many, many of our beds are individual little way stations in and of themselves. I know we definitely have different types of milkweed. The lantanas that we talked about, the black-eyed Susans, uh, which of course is the black and gold. Those are some nice nectar flowers. We also have different types of shrubs so that it provides them privacy and protection and they feel, um, I don't know if confident is the word, but certainly safe to go ahead and lay their eggs. And we also have a variety of other pollinators and different types of uh, flowers and plants for just decor as well inside the beds.